All right, guys, so I'm back in the Fox Egg Gears channel, and today we're making a vlog. So, this whole coronavirus thing is all messed up and everything, but everyone's over paranoid buying napkins and everything. And I'm like, seriously, you don't need to buy all the waters or buy all the waters and stuff like that. I mean, for obvious sakes, we have suffered crazy things besides the coronavirus. 9-11, the Ebola, the low fuel downage. Everyone's just stockpiling. So as I just showed you in the beginning of the video, um, paper towels are sold out. All the paper plates are sold out. Even my, I've been reviewing a bunch of stuff and what's more survival is having a metal plate. But coronavirus is not necessary to be prepared for. But surprised to say, I don't see anyone fighting anymore. I just, everyone's acting normal, but yeah, they're buying a bunch of groceries. So, as we're taking a look right now, um, I just bought two pair of eggs right now. And the whole box of eggs I was supposed to buy is all gone. Because we have a whole family of the feed of eggs. Just on normal groceries, it's all gone. And then, to walk over here, uh, we got lo lots of eggs getting sold. Yeah, it's pretty dumb how this is all happening fast. And I don't see anyone like... As I was walking over here, a bunch of others were telling me that the um, all of this is unnecessary. The, the whole stockpiling for coronavirus. And I agree. To me, I've not been stockpiling, but I've been collecting military gear for about five years. And yet, over the years I've been living here in Texas, the Florida thing, the gasoline shortage happened about a few years ago, and everyone's all buying gas and gas and gas. So gas prices are going up, and Ebola came out, and... Everyone just laughed about it and said, no joke. So that's it. So, we just showed you guys all the paper and towels are getting sold out. Or actually, they're all sold out. Eggs are getting sold out as we're, as we're speaking. And normally that, the cleaning products here are also getting sold out. Actually, they're cleaning out the shelves all the time. So like I said to me times, everyone keeps worrying about this coronavirus and it's nothing to be worried about. We have suffered gas village, Ebola, 9-11, and yet we're not going crazy. I know, right? Uh, you know the crazy part is that the fuel right now is cheap. It, it's like $18 to fill half of your tank. And my mom drives a Toyota Highlander. And it's $18 to feel hot to half of it. That's crazy. I know. I mean, the mom like, it's not the I mean, like. Mm hmm. So, as you guys can see, the fuel, all this stuff is getting cleaned out by customers just because of coronavirus. Even though, in my opinion, it's common sense that you want to take a hot shower and wash your hands, and that's it. I mean, for God's sakes, I get out of work and take hot showers, that's it. So not only that, clean products are not getting sold, but also um, um, laundry products are also getting sold out because of the coronavirus. People are wearing, some people outside are wearing medical masks. And over here, like... So, as you see, people are just cleaning out these laundry shelves. So, as it for my YouTube channel, I've been collecting military gears for like three years. And something like this never came up to me. A lot talking that oil outage, like I said again. I mean, 
This is just completely insane right here. That everything, all of this is sold out. And then let me show you guys, show the water station. So if you guys want to know where I'm at, I'm at the H-E-B store here in Texas. And as we're walking in the soda station, everything here is also getting cleaned out. So, obviously, I don't see anyone buying all these soda bottles. But as I was walking in to get some eggs and then they're out of water bottles, they sold out of all this, not all of it, but they're getting cleaned out for these soda cans. And as you guys see in the video, you see people, a bunch of people walking around with loaded shopping carts. You see a lot of people with loaded shopping carts because of coronavirus. And obviously this is unnecessary. But even the chips are getting cleaned out. And this is HB brand chips. It's just ridiculous. Like, if I were to get my gun license, I would stockpile ammunition just to protect myself from the people trying to rob me. Other than that, like, seriously, this is unnecessary. Anything. It's so nice. So as you guys can see here, all the chorizo meat is getting sold out. Surprisingly, chorizo is getting sold out. And I don't see people buying chorizo meat. Sausages are getting sold out. Cereal packets are also getting sold out. This is just insane. Sorry. Um, pretty much the whole business and the economy might have to restock the whole stores. So that means Kellogg's, the whole entire Nestle, all the companies that make water, cereal, eggs, and all that stuff are probably bu businessing booming for them. But for us, it's, it's just everything is getting sold out. So I would want to walk around this whole entire store just to point the fact that uh, just to show you how ridiculous this whole coronavirus is happening. It's even people that are just too afraid but again we live in a social life so social life is pretty much is pretty much the worst thing. Because once there's one thing that happens, everyone freaks out and then starts doing dumb things every day. Like right now, I can bet you right now, when people are stockpiling, they're going to probably spend around $500 on groceries. But when the coronavirus is over, they wasted all their $500 for groceries <laughs> for nothing. Like, for example, a man walks up, stockpile crap tons of water. It costs him $50. And then three months later, the coronavirus is now curable or it's gone and then the man disappointed because he wasted fifty dollars of stockpile on food rather than just sit there and wait and think yeah i bet you right now there's gonna be a lot of police reports showing that people are robbing each other's places for food and stuff like that but anything is pretty stupid it's the the, the whole process of buying groceries for coronavirus I mean, for God's sakes. So I were right here in this line of HB. It's pretty dang long. So I'm over here laughing my butt off. How long this line is because of the coronavirus. I bet you if I come here around two o'clock at night, as I'm clocking out of work, this whole line's gonna be all gone because some people are too lazy to, to some people are gonna be too lazy to stay up late and go shopping. I don't know. So surprisingly, all the frozen foods are not getting stockpiled because frozen foods are hard to, to 
they're hard to store because what people are thinking maybe if there's no, no electricity there probably there probably will be electricity and probably this whole coronavirus is gonna kick over and people are gonna be like I bet you there's gonna be a lot of people getting cars and house getting repo because everyone wasted their money on stockpiling food but then when the coronavirus kicks over and it's 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 already contained yeah a lot of money and tax dollars you spent on groceries just went down the drain because people over worried about the coronavirus I mean if we learn through our histories in the United States we suffer 9-11 we suffer a terrorist attack we suffer the uh, oil drainage hey we suffered drain oil fuel shortage. We suffered Ebola. And now we're suffering coronavirus. And uh, just look at this whole line. Some of these people are just regularly going grocery shopping. Some are just stockpiling. Like I said again, I'm holding two boxes of eggs. I was supposed to buy another pack of water. Because we're stockpiling to, to ship stuff down to Mexico for... We're supposed to sh take all the water bottles in there. You're totally good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and so much. So this has been Info Fox Got Gear. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or follow me on Twitter and Facebook. And this is this is signing out. And this concludes my video. And catch you guys later.